Creative Wellbeing at Derby Quad. This video is part of a series of resources produced for Derby Ram Trail Webinar Week. Hello and welcome to Derby Ram Trail Webinar Week, organised by St Peter's Quarter and Cathedral Quarter. My name is Emily and I'm the Creative Wellbeing Admin Assistant at Derby Quad. Quad is an arts charity based in the centre of Derby. Here's a video to find out more about what we do and the Creative Wellbeing team there. Creative Wellbeing at Derby Quad Welcome! Quad is a charity and an arts centre with cinemas, gallery, a cafe bar, digital resources and workshops that anyone can use. For more than 10 years, Quad has been a city leader in creative wellbeing with a wide-reaching arts and health programme. We believe arts and culture have a significant role to play in enabling people to live well whatever their circumstances. Transforming lives through participation in arts and film is one of our founding principles. Quad is proud of its contribution to arts and health practice in Derby and we have developed a range of successful delivery partnerships working closely with Derbyshire Mind, the Radbourne Acute Mental Health Unit NHS Trust and Beecher's Perinatal Support Unit Derby Royal Hospital. Our work over the past 10 years has evidenced the benefits of pupils' lives in Derby through creative opportunities and experiences. Our team are dedicated to providing engaging, fun and educational opportunities all year round. Quad is pleased to have successfully received a grant from the Garfield Western Foundation in support of our creative wellbeing work over two years. The grant will support our Uplift project, which aims to provide the best possible opportunities for the widest range of people to experience positive health and wellbeing benefits through creative participation. The project will sustain and enhance our wellbeing programme, reach wider audiences by tackling barriers to access, develop new initiatives and partnerships to reach wider audiences, and share our experiences and learning. In these ways, our programme will significantly affect change. We will do this through enhancing participant experience in creative well-being, development and support of the sector-wide professional practice and well-being, strengthening existing partnerships as well as develop new ones to support the case for creativity in health and well-being settings, and finally, evaluation, research and learning. Meet the team. John Wall is Digital Participation Curator at Quad. Abby Canning is our Q Club Programme Curator. Emily Jones is the Creative Wellbeing Admin Assistant. And Owen Hercum is our Creative Wellbeing Curator. Workshops. Our exciting participation workshops are a perfect way to get involved with creative and collaborative artwork. Quad's pioneering projects work with high profile and local artists to create community participatory projects. Here are a few workshops from our current programme. Gold Squad, a relaxed, friendly group for anyone over 50 who is interested in creativity, learning new skills, trying new challenges in a supportive environment and working with other people. Sessions are led by visiting artists and creative practitioners. Q Club Q Club is a children in need funded project aimed at children on the artistic spectrum, children with additional support needs or who are socially excluded, have disabilities, are young carers, looked after or bereaved children. Mindful Crafts. Delivered in partnership and funded by Derbyshire Mind, our Mindful Crafts workshops offer a relaxed, supportive environment for adults to learn new creative skills and improve confidence and self-esteem. Join us. For more information about creative wellbeing at Quad, please visit derbyquad.co.uk 
or contact us via email at creativewellbeing at derbycourt.co.uk. Now you know more about Quad and the Creative Wellbeing team, let's try one of our activities from our Mindful Crafts workshops. Mindful Crafts is delivered in partnership with Derbyshire Mind and offers a relaxed and supportive environment for adults to come and learn new skills, improve confidence and self-esteem. In one of our recent workshops, we celebrated Mental Health Awareness Week. The theme for this was nature, so Stacey Murray showed us how to make these fabric flowers. For this, you will need a circle template, just like this one, some thread, a needle and then some scrap pieces of fabric, four or five depending on how many petals you want to do. And then to pop in the middle a button. Here's Stacey to show you how to make your fabric flower. Hi there, it's um, Stacey from Mindful Crafts here. Um, today we have been making some fabric flowers um, as part of Mental Health Awareness Week. So I'm just going to talk you through um, how we made these and then you can give it a go at home if you would like to. So what you need to do is get some, some materials. So if we've used these kind of floral printed pieces um, or if you prefer, you could just use some kind of plain pieces or just some scrap, scrap fabric that you have at home, whatever you can find. Um, and then you need a circle template. It doesn't matter too much what size it is, um, as long as they're the same size, obviously. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw around um, your template, your circle template, and then you're going to do this on four or five pieces of fabric to make your petals. So you just want to draw around and then cut out your circles so you have little circles of fabric like this. And then what you need to do is fold each one in half like this and then in half again. So you've made a little petal or triangle shape. Um, and then what you need is some needle and thread. And so you're just going to sew on a little running stitch along this curved edge at the bottom. So you would start off at one end, obviously tie in a knot um, at the back for when you start, and then you're just going to run a running stitch along here. So just working in and then back through. Okay, so you would want to run and stitch all the way along and then you would keep going on the same piece of thread until you've added all of your folded circles, so all of your petals. So if I just show you here one where I'm starting to loop them together, what I've done is when I added my running stitch along there, I just pulled it tight, which creates this ruche effect here, which gives you your petal. And then you add on the second one and then keep, keep going with your running stitch. All the way along. And then as you move along, you can gather that as well. And what you do is you keep going until you've added all of your petals and keep pulling. So the ruching gathers in the middle and what you'll get is a little circle of your petals. So when you've added your four or five, however many you want to, you would just tack on the last one to this first one here. And then you would also add a few stitches across the middle of the flower, just to really like pull it together. And once you've done that, you can use a button in the center to just kind of pull it all together. And so these are ones here with four petals, so that will be your finished, finished flower. How did you get on? Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to welcome you at Derby Quad soon.
If you are experiencing difficult, intense emotions or a mental health crisis, please do contact the following numbers for help. The Samaritans, 116-123. The Derbyshire NHS Mental Health Crisis Number, 0800 028 0077. The National Domestic Abuse Helpline, 0808 247. If you need medical help but can keep yourself safe for a while, call NHS 111 by dialing 111. If you feel your life is at risk or you have seriously harmed yourself, please call 999 immediately. If you are looking for general mental health information, you can also call the National Mind Info Line on 0300 123 3393. This video was produced by Darby Quad. With thanks to Stacey Murray and Derbyshire Mind.